Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to an awesome video. Now, this is something that honestly I was not expecting to do so soon. It's something that I had in the back of my mind that I was like, okay, at some point we're going to change up the wheels. You know, I do love the OEM Competition 20s, the uh, 666Ms. Beautiful wheel. They look really good, spaced out when it's lowered and everything. But I'm just honestly not a big fan of 20 inch wheels on this car. The main reason is because of the tire sizing that you need to run. These are 30 series tires. So if you look here, super thin. It's a very rough ride for what this is. I'm much more used to running 18s, which is a much thicker tire. I have run 19s in the past. Actually, I ran them on my E46 M3 for a little while, some uh, Volk CE 28s, and I loved them. However, again, same situation. I had to run a really thin tire and I'm just not a big fan of the ride and just the overall look. I honestly think they look a little bit too big for the car and I'm just more of a kind of meaty uh, wheel setup kind of person. So I was like, okay, if I can find the set of wheels that I really want in the spec that I want, you know, literally everything that I would like in this type of wheel, then I'll snag them. Unfortunately, the wheels and the specs that I wanted are discontinued. So that really left my head scratching saying, what am I gonna do? You know, I guess I'll try to find them used. Maybe I'll try to find somebody that may have them on the shelf. And unfortunately, there really was not anything left. There was only one set and one color that I did not want. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll get those and then I'll get them powder coated or something. But I was like, man, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to powder coat brand new wheels, um, especially from this brand. You know, I want to keep the original color and all that. So I started scouring the internet. And of course, my guy Bryant from Envision Tuning was like, hey, I have a set of wheels that you're looking for. It's similar color that you want, but it's the exact spec. So I was like, all right, let me take a look. He sent me over a picture and I was like, man, those things are sick. <laughs> so I bit the bullet and I got my third set of Volks. You guys know that I ran a set of Volks CE28s on my STI. Absolutely love them. One of my favorite wheels ever. And I did mention earlier that I ran a set of CE28s on my E46 M3. I'll throw up some pictures for you guys so you can see them. They were 19s though, those were short-lived. I didn't run them for too long, but a very, very nice wheel. One of my all-time favorites. Honestly, I think they're very, very underrated. However, this is my first set of TEs. So this is what I ended up getting, some TE37 SLs. SLs are discontinued. They moved over to the Sagas, and now I believe they went over to a different version now but the SLs are my absolute favorite. The SLs are more like the OG type of TE. Uh, obviously there was the OGs before this one, but SLs are as close to it as possible. I do like the Sagas, but I'm not a big fan of the etching and um, I don't know, something about them. There is a little bit too much concave. It makes them look a little funky and uh, the SLs just, they really do it for me. So the sizing that I wanted, as you can see, 18 by nine and a half, 22. These are for the fronts. And then the rears, especially, this was the main um, kind of sizing that I wanted. That was really hard to find, whereas the specs. And they are 18 by 11 plus 34. There's a lot of 10 and a half plus 20, I believe the offset was. And those are for E90Xs. Um, the 20 offset just is way too big or way too pushed out for an F80. Believe it or not, it's pretty crazy. You would think it would be the same, but the 20 offset is just too wide for the F80. Yes, you can run it, but you have to run a skinnier tire or you have to run a lot of camber to get them to fit properly. And I didn't want to do that. So I really, really wanted the 18 by 11, 34 offset. And lo and behold, I found them. And um, yeah, so as you might be able to tell, I probably already showed it what color I got. Um, so let me go ahead, open these up and show you just how beautiful these things are. So here they are. This is the TE37, as I mentioned. This is the 11. This is one of the rears, plus 34. I got them in the flat black finish. Now, I really, really, really wanted to find a gloss black finish. However, there was zero of them on the market. Absolutely none. I would have to find them used. And not many people get rid of them because they are so nice. However, having had gloss black wheels in the past, I started doing some thinking. I was like, you know what? Gloss black, it scratches very easily. They're hard to polish out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. 
Obviously, I like the detail. I wash cars often. So having a set of gloss black wheels usually isn't the best thing to do. Yes, it does look very good. However, with my OCD and seeing you know them getting marred up and scratched over time, not something I want to deal with. So the next best bet was going with their flat black. And these things in person are sick. The amount of concave on there is absolutely beautiful. The finish on here is insane. You would think this would scratch easily, you know, leave some white marks like a chalkboard, but it does not. It is just a beautiful, beautiful wheel. This is my first set of TEs I've ever had. Obviously I've had a lot of friends and I've seen them on many cars in the past, but having your own set for your own car is pretty incredible. And I am absolutely thrilled. I decided to pick up a set. Now I'm gonna open up the rest of them in a second, but I'm just kind of admiring these right now <laughs> because this is my first kind of look at them out of the box. I took a quick peek at them uh, when I first got home, but man, these things are sick. And um, I did get the uh, red sticker or red decal and the SL sticker on the lip is already on there. However, I may remove that and I may try to get these in blue. So I do have a source to get these in blue. I think it will look much better. Uh, to match the brakes and kind of match the little theme that I got going on under the engine bay. I don't have any red on here, so it may be a little much, although I may keep them on just for now, but I don't think I'm gonna put these on right now. I'm going to wait to see if I can get some blue ones and if I can get some blue uh, spoke decal, I'll end up taking that off and maybe get a blue decal for that as well. But these things are absolutely beautiful. I know it's a very, very common wheel. I know a lot of people run them, but it's just, I love it. So cleaning these wheels, uh, I'm definitely going to appreciate how much easier it is to clean these. Those things are a pain in the butt to clean. There's so many cracks and crevices and areas or brake dust and dirt to get into. These are gonna be way easier. So another big plus about getting these wheels. A lot of people were telling me to go with the bronze finish, but to be honest, as cool as bronze is, it would be one of those things that I would be like, hey, that's cool but I would get tired of it very, very quickly. I'm not a big fan of you know different colored wheels other than black or gray, sometimes silver, it depends on the wheel, but I'm usually a bigger fan of gunmetal and black wheels, just kind of what I go to. It's, I don't know, I'm just kind of drawn to that track, kind of aggressive look. And these things certainly deliver. I mean, look how wide this is, it's 11 inch wheel. This is actually the widest wheel I've ever ran. The biggest I've ever ran uh, was a 10 and a half. So having an 11 is pretty darn cool. The weight of these things is pretty incredible. Uh, I forget the actual weight, but it's probably around 17 or 18 pounds. It's pretty darn light. So gonna be amazing. I'm definitely gonna feel a big difference overall once I get all these on and uh, get the tires and everything mounted. Rotational mass is a real thing. So getting some really, really nice forged lightweight wheels on your car, I can definitely tell a difference. I was easily able to tell a difference when I did it uh, on my STI with the CE28s. Definitely, definitely a big jump in terms of overall feel of the car. It just felt way lighter, way more nimble, and um, it felt a little bit quicker, to be completely honest. But I cannot wait to get these things on. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead, open up the other boxes, kind of show you the full set, and then we'll go over and discuss tires. got all of them unboxed and man these things are absolutely beautiful the te37 is a wheel that you can truly appreciate in person there's a whole other dynamic a whole other personality so much more detail than you can see on camera or in pictures it's just so much nicer in person the finish on camera even looks more flat than it is in person it's more of a satin than an actual flat kind of black. So uh, I'm kind of happy about that. I like a mix between flat and gloss and satin is perfect. I actually had a set of satin black uh, 57 DRs on my STI. It's actually the first set of wheels that I ran on my STI way back in the day. So it's kind of a similar finish, which I really, really liked and it held up very well over time. So uh, I'm looking forward to 
you know, seeing how these hold up over time. All right, so now that you see the wheels, let's talk about tires. Many, many different options to run, a lot of different sizes you can run, but the main spec that I wanna run is a 265.35 up front and a 295.35 out back. Yes, I can run a much wider tire in the back. I can seriously go up to like a 305 if I really wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. Running such a wide tire in the back and it being almost too meaty is not the look that I'm going for. I do like something that looks very, very kind of square on the wheel. I don't like a lot of stretch or any stretch at all, but I'm not a big fan when it looks too bubbly. On my STI with the CE28s, I ran Cup 2s. I ran 265.35s all around, and they looked like 275s. Sidewall on those tires are very bubbly, kind of very round, so they actually looked even larger than what they really were. And that caused a little issue in terms of drivability. I did scrub a little bit in certain times, and uh, with this car, I really, really don't want to sacrifice the ride quality, the overall performance of the car. So I don't want to go too wide where it's going to inhibit the overall fun factor and drivability of the car. So going with the 265 and a 295 is going to be perfect. 265 fits very, very well on nine and a half and a 295 fits very, very nicely on 11s. Now, what tire am I going to run? I am a huge Michelin fanboy. I always go with Michelin's PS4S's. I'm a really big fan of their all seasons, the AS3 Pluses, which is now the AS4's. Uh, I also ran Cup 2, so I'm a really, really big Michelin fan. I think they're one of the best tires you can get for overall practicality and a great, great tire overall. However, I'm kind of contemplating going with a little bit more aggressive tire, a little bit more aggressive summer tire, I should say. This is not my every single day car. This is something I drive on you know, nicer days in the warmer weather. So this will never see rain. This will never see snow, anything like that. I have my truck to drive for that type of weather. So I'm not too concerned about having something good in the colder months. I want something that's really, really sticky, something that looks really aggressive. So I am thinking about something other than Michelin's. Now, one of the tires I'm considering are the Falcon Azenas 615s. I love the way those things look. They're super meaty, super chunky. They look very, very kind of aggressive. Uh, and that is definitely a look I'm going for. They have 265 35s in that size and that tire. However, 295 35 is hard to find. At least in my quick research, I wasn't able to find any available. They have a 295 40 and they also have a 275 30, I believe. So a little too big and not what I'm looking for. I really want the 295-35. Plus doing a 35 in the front and a 30 in the rear is gonna throw off the bias. So I wanna keep it to 35s all around. However, I may try to find uh, a set of 295-35s in those if I can. I'm not really sure if it's available right now, but I will do my best to try to find them. Another set of tires that I'm considering are the Yokohama uh, AO52s, I believe they're called. I really like that tire. It's a very, very track-like tire, uh, but it looks good. A lot of people use them on more aggressive setups. I never tried Yokohamas before, so I really don't have any experience with them, but uh, I see a lot of people using them, so I, I am contemplating them. They do have the 265-35 and 295-35 sizing available, so that is something to consider. Another tire that I am considering is something that I have never ran before, but is a very, very, very popular track summer tire. And that is the Nanking uh, CRSs, I believe it's called. They are super, super sick. I love the way those things look. Very, very track type of setup. Actually is a very, very good track tire. A lot of people do use them for the track. Uh, I am considering those and they do have them in my size that I want. I never really ran anything by them, so I'm not really sure. I'll have to do my research, but if anybody has ran those tires before or knows somebody that ran them and likes them, let me know. So those are the other tires that I'm considering. Obviously, I, I am mainly looking at the PS4S's, the Cup 2's. I don't think they come in the 295-35, although I may be mistaken, but the PS4S's, I know they come in 295-35 and 265-35. So I may be just going with those, kind of the tried and true. I know how they fit. I know, you know, the kind of sizing in them. So I know they would fit really well and be the look that I'm going for. But we will see. I may try something different. I may, um, you know, kind of venture out of my comfort zone and try 
a different brand, a different tire and see what I think. Uh, the thing about the F80 M3 is that it is very, very quiet on the inside. There's a lot of sound deadening and everything. So having a little bit louder street tire, I kind of welcome in a way to get a little bit more feedback, hear a little bit more kind of road noise in a way. I'm not gonna rush it. I'm not just gonna get a tire just to get them on the car. Uh, and yes, I will 100% be lower by the time these things go on. I have my KWs over there. So they will be going on the car. I may do in the same video, I don't know but I will not be running these without being lowered. So don't worry, I'm not gonna throw these on the car until the car is lowered because that is not a good look. And <laughs> I don't wanna run these uh, as my first set of TEs and be like, wow, that looks terrible. So <laughs> in terms of tire valve stems, they do come with the uh, anodized red valve stems, which are nice, but are very, very known for fading over time. So I don't think I'm gonna run these. Again, I had these on my CE28s for the STI. They looked good, but again, I don't want to put them on the tires or the wheels and then them kind of fade over time and just look like that ugly pink and then have to get them changed out. Plus, I wanna run TPMS. They are on the stock wheels and I don't want any lights on in the car. So I may just transfer over the stock TPMS and valve stem over to these. I'm not sure. The valve stem on these are silver. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that, but we will see what I come up with. I did throw these little black valve stem caps on there. So it kind of hides it a little bit. Again, I want to do it right. So I'm not going to just start putting stuff on here just to do it. Um, just to get these wheels on, you know, I really want to make sure I do it right because this honestly is a dream set of wheels and I'm pretty shocked that I already have them in my garage, ready to go for the M3. All right, enough chatting, enough discussing the specs, tires, all that little, all the little details and everything. Let's do a little bit of a test fit. I want to get a visualization. I want to kind of see them on the car. I'm just going to throw them on. Obviously, I don't have tires on or anything, so I can't lower it. I'll probably just throw on a front and a rear to get a little bit of a look and uh, obviously show you guys kind of what I'm looking at and how they look on the car. So let's go ahead. Let's throw it on the passenger front for now, and then uh, we'll go over to the passenger rear and give you a little bit of a look. Alrighty, man, I absolutely love it. So much droop from the stock suspension, so we really can't get a good representation, uh, kind of how it sits up in the wheel well. But in terms of the fitment, I mean, just look at how perfect that is to the fender. It's gonna look perfect with a 265-35 on here. The concave is really nice. The fronts have a little bit less than the rears. The rears have way more, but man, I absolutely love how this looks this is going to look so good on here and uh, the flat black is beautiful very very hard to capture i got a lot of, i got a pretty bright light on here so let me turn that off here's a little bit more of a representation a little bit better look and to the finish how it looks on the car and my god this looks so good it's crazy how much smaller these look compared to the 20s but i mean with a much thicker tire on there it's going to look so so good Yes, center caps, TE37s, you cannot run center caps on the SLs at least without adapters. So I may either A, get the adapters, run some custom caps, or just paint the hubs a black so you don't see kind of the hub in there and uh, it look ugly. But most likely I'm gonna do that at least at first, um, just so I don't have to worry about doing you know caps or anything like that right away. But we will see uh, how that turns out. But for now, oh, I am loving this. And, and again, when I was talking about getting motivated, uh, this is just getting me super excited to throw these on the car because it's gonna look incredible. I can't wait to see this thing. Oh, this is like my favorite angle, seeing the concave and just how great it fits on the fender. Absolutely perfect fitment. So again, this is 18 by nine and a half plus 22. This is the exact spec and size that I ran on my E46 M3 up front on the Apex ARC8s. Uh, I'll throw up a picture for you guys. I ran them in both black and silver, but it was a perfect, perfect fitment. And yet again, for the F80, perfect fitment for these as well. Alright, so 
so we got the massive rear on this thing has so much concave it is absolutely awesome i love love that good concave wheel it's always good on my book but i am so freaking happy with how this is looking this is exactly the vision i had this thing lowered with some meaty tires on there nice and uh tucked up with no wheel gap this thing is gonna look incredible i cannot wait for this and uh let's get a little look back here again kind of hard to visualize there's no tires on it and plus the amazing amount of droop but geez absolutely the right choice perfect i was gonna go with a few different other sets but te's were just kind of my dream and where i wanted to be with this car and i think it fits it perfectly it's kind of sticking to my jdm roots you guys know that i'm a big jdm fan so kind of sticking with the japanese wheels on a german car are kind of my two favorite things so a great combination a lot of people run te's on f80s and i think they look fantastic uh, a lot of people run the 19s which do look good but i'm just a bigger fan of the 18s i think it looks a little bit more aggressive and uh overall just kind of more my style but man oh man look at this rear this thing is gonna look so so good oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna be in here admiring this for quite some time even when i'm done uh filming here but man oh man I really got to decide on tires soon. Another thing that I absolutely love about the 18s is the wheel to brake ratio. The entire brake fills up the entire wheel. <laughs> I mean, these are big brakes to begin with, but uh, it just looks incredible behind the 18s. With the 19s and 20s, it almost makes these brakes look small. And these things are massive, especially the front. I mean, look how awesome this fills out the wheel. I mean, you literally can't even see behind there. It's going to be honestly kind of hard to clean these, get behind there because there is uh, not much room. <laughs> but honestly, I'd much rather them look this good with the brakes all filled in on the wheel than worry about how I'm going to clean them. So I'll worry about that another day. I have a bunch of small brushes that I'll be able to get these clean. No problem. But man, this looks so good. I cannot stop saying that. I'm sorry if I said that 37 times. I'm just over the moon all right so i'm gonna wrap the video up here i'm gonna get the wheels back on kind of clean everything up and tuck the wheels away for now i'm deciding on tires i'm actually talking to my buddy over at envision tuning to get some tires uh get them all sorted and kind of get the specs and everything that i want i think i'm pretty sure i know which direction i want to go it's just a matter of if they're available and i'm able to get them but working them out so i'll update you guys very very soon on that hopefully the next time i update you guys we'll have them and get them mounted up but let me just walk around real quick and give you a little bit of a better view from back here so you can get a little bit better idea uh, oh god i usually don't get too giddy about this kind of stuff i mean i love doing all this but uh it's this is just has me on another level of excitement i cannot wait to get this thing kind of where i want it m3s to me are a car that i have lusted over and dreamed about and loved for a very very long time i'm telling you i'm obsessed with them and uh now having another one in the garage building it to my spec with freaking brand new te37 sls oh my god <laughs> i'm over the moon and with my amazing truck over there sorry i'm just having one of those moments i'm just like what is going on right now so <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Trust me, it supports and helps me more than you ever know. It means the world to me. So keep on watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all about the wheels or anything else on the M3, leave them in the comments below. Again, huge shout out to Brian at Envision Tuning for not only getting me these wheels or finding them, but getting them delivered to me in a matter of days. I was searching high and low for a set and he was like, hey man, got a set, here you go. And they were here in like four or five days. So super quick. Again, huge shout out to Brian. He's the one that got me everything that I have done to the M3 so far. So he is a huge, 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 huge help to this build. So make sure you go hit up Envision Tuning if you guys want anything for your M3, for your truck, for your STI, for anything. They can get you whatever you want, super quick at a great price. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Again, if you have any questions, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.